is Matt for Let's Use, and welcome back. Today, we are going to be playing some more Dwarf Fortress. Alrighty, it's been a while since I actually have played this. It's been like two or three weeks, actually. So I am a bit excited to get back into this. I have been playing it a little bit off camera on some of my other saves. But I haven't recorded for quite some time here. And I know I always say that. Um, Dwarf Fortress isn't really one of those games that... You know, I like to sit down and really record for a long time. And that's not because I don't like the game. That's because this game takes forever to get things done. So, you know, sometimes it's just hard to sit down and record a whole bunch. Um, it looks like our cave beetle just got slaughtered. Um, our meat... Plant and fish stockpiles are still pretty low though, so I might I might have to eventually assign some more animals to be slaughtered here. Um, I already assigned a few here, but I may need to assign some more. Because I cannot afford to run out of food. Um, let's, let's get some more shadow leaf bushes growing over here. And maybe that'll help out the situation. Not exactly sure. Maybe it will. I mean, we have enough shadow leaf seeds to, for quite a few plots here, so. Seeds are definitely not an issue. At least not in that regard. So we're almost done with this whole floor, actually. At least the part I want mined out for right now. It's pretty much done. Just great, you know? I think after they're all done digging this out, I think I might just go straight on to another set of uh, rooms. Ooh, excuse me. I might just start digging straight down here. Because... You know, rooms are important. Rooms are definitely an important part of this game. And you definitely do have to keep up with rooms. If you don't keep up with rooms, you will fall behind pretty quickly. Um, am I making more bed? I gotta check if I'm making more beds here. I, I, okay, I am making doors, which is what I want. But I also want to make some beds. I'm not sure how many I have. How many do I? Oh, I only have eight. Okay, so let's construct some more beds. Definitely want to do that. Fishery. Okay. Let's make some rock mechanisms. I don't... Do, do I... Do we even have a mechanic? I don't even think we have a mechanic. How the heck did that get built then? Someone... Someone... That, that's probably someone's last priority is um being a mechanic well those will eventually get done because i do need to hook up the entrance here with a lever so we do need those um let's let's see here i want to go ahead and remove yes z i want to go ahead and remove those and then i want to go over here and remove all of these What's above there? Okay, um... I might eventually just build a, um, a floor over it. Just so no bats or anything can come in. I mean, I'm gonna have this walled off any- or have this gated off anyways. So nothing's really gonna be able to get inside. But I still don't want anything coming into my lobby. I'll probably just build the walls for now. I'm not going to assign the walls, though. Ooh, our stray mole weasel has been slaughtered. Unfortunately, yeah, we do have to slaughter some of these guys. I would have liked to keep them all alive until we had, like, an explosion of them. And it's at a point where butchering them won't even control their population. That's when I want to start butchering I mean, at that point, we really don't even need farmers. Okay, well, sort of... Ooh, no! Dusk Mother Spear has been found dead and dehydrated. I think, um, Dusk here... I think Dusk was the one who was struck by Melancholy, and then we didn't have the correct workshop or something, or we didn't have the supplies to build what he wanted. 
And then he went ape shit crazy. Okay, so that, I guess that was a little bit expected. Um, we do need a uh, coffin now. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and build a couple of coffins, actually. And then continue making doors. I probably have a ton of doors, don't I? No, only eight. Not too bad, though. Um, let's go ahead and place another table down, and another chair, and another table. There we go. Now, these dining rooms are really small. I think I might make another dining room, like, up to the top left here. Because these dining rooms aren't going to cut it. These are way too small. <laughs> Especially when we start getting more migrant waves. Because <laughs> it's going to be a pain in the butt, so... Okay. Well, everything's running all right. Everything is definitely running okay. Could be a bit better on our food and drink situation. Um, I might make another brewer's. Uh, actually, yeah, let me go ahead and make another brewer's workshop right now. Or a, a distillery. And then make a farmer's workshop down here, because we don't have one made. Um, we can make up an ash. Oh, no, I don't have a bucket. Millstone corn. Soap makers. Okay, well, I think that's all I'm going to build for now. We'll build the distillery and the farmer's workshop. Just for now, at least. So that way, with that extra brewery... We can pump out some more drinks. I We really don't have enough plants to even pump out drinks, though. We might have to start drinking out of the stream, which is not what I want to do. That's never good when you have to start drinking out of the uh, river. If we could, I would really like to get... We actually probably could... I want to eventually, I'm not going to do it right now, but eventually I want to go ahead and take that river and build a separate thing. It'll still be connected to this main, um, you know, tunnel. Why do I have auto saving on? I just realized that. Why the fuck do I have auto saving on? <laughs> God damn it. It's not responding. It'll, it'll load eventually. I didn't even realize I had auto saving on. Holy crap. I thought I had that completely turned off. I guess not. <laughs> that's that's fine though. Auto saving is never bad. It's just gets a little bit annoying sometimes. Um, we could make a little bit of charcoal. I don't know if I actually if anybody's gonna be open to even making that right now. But I, I wouldn't mind a little bit of charcoal right now, and then we could start smelting some stuff. I don't even think do we even have any smeltable ores? No. There's some yes, right there, know. right? Yeah, t Titanite. We can smelt that down. I'm not sure what we can make out of Titanite, though. Oh, we already have some Titanite right there. Oh, God. Dusk is just gonna lay there, isn't he? Oh, someone's already picked off all of his clothes. They just left his body there and took all of his clothes. Oh, poor guy, poor guy. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and place down some of those, uh, coffins here. Um, where am I gonna place one of these down? Um, we could place them in the hallways. Dwarves actually don't mind looking at coffins. If they are of decent quality. Um, I think I might just put some coffins, like, back here somewhere. Uh, that one that one make too sense though, too much sense though. Um, maybe I'll actually just put it up on the hill actually Didn't I have this area dug out? I had an area up here. Where where is it? Where is this shit? Oh Yeah, right there. Can we build? Oh, yes, we can. Okay Let's just put the coffins in here for now until I actually get a proper burial place or burial site. And then we pro we'll probably, once we get a proper burial site, I'll turn these into pet coffins or pet burial sites. And then a, a couple lucky pets 
we'll be able to get buried. <laughs> okay. That'll work. Because, I mean, they're not going to be of masterpiece quality. If we can get masterpiece coffins, though, I will start sh uh, placing them around the hallways. Because dwarves actually like to look at that stuff. If it's of good quality. Oh, shit. Who who's rotting over here? What's going on? What is rotting? What's rotting? I don't know what's rotting. Is it this guy? Is it someone over here that's rotting? I don't know what's going on there. Maybe it's dusk? Oh, yeah. It's dusk. That's who it is. <laughs> He's decaying. Okay, so... <laughs> Okie dokie, then. Um, let's go ahead and wait for this guy. Okay, there we go. Place the last one down. Let's go ahead and make all four of these into burial sites. And there we go. Then Dusk should be hauled off there. Um, is this guy stray? No, he's not, but he's starving. Okay, let's go ahead and slaughter him. Because, I mean, if he's just gonna starve, why not? Okay. There we go. They just hauled Dusk off. Fantastic. Now he won't be creating huge miasma pools. Do I have a trading depot? Yes, I do. Hunt for small creature? <laughs> okay. I know you can make those little traps um, for small creatures. And then you could capture things like small little snakes, um, little weasels. You can capture a whole, you know, just wide array of little critters. I never really found a true use for them, though. You can train them and make them into pets. Or just make them into tame animals and then slaughter them. But, I mean, they're small animals, so they really don't give you that much food. Oh, our liaison is here. When did they get here? Where the hell's their caravan? Um... I'm not gonna trade anything this time, but the next time they come, I'm actually gonna trade some stuff here. So, first off, when you come next time, I want some leather, and we'll set we'll set that priority up like that that much. Um, so that way they'll bring more, but it'll be at a higher price. So the higher the priority is, the higher the price, but they will also bring more of that item. So you kind of have to you know balance it out there. Um, so we'll, we'll ask them to bring, you know, a, a, a decent amount of leather. Also, tough leather. We'll, we'll put that down a little bit, though, because that, that's actually quite expensive, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to pay for that. So let, let's do that. Um, shit, I don't remember how to... Oh, yes, there we go. That's how you do that. <laughs> let's also ask them... Eh, I don't really know if we need cloth, but... What the heck, I'll ask them to bring a little bit. The next thing I want them to bring is... Spears, long swords, short swords, and large daggers. So they should bring a couple of those. And then I want them to bring a bunch of drinks. Yeah. One of everything. Ooh, dwarven oatmeal. Nice. I think, I think that's all I'm going to ask them for, really. A contract? Huh? I don't know what that's for, but okay. Yeah, I think that's all I'm going to ask for. Actually, instead of asking for weapons... Actually, no, no, no. I'll still ask for the weapons. Uh, I'll, I'll just take some aluminum... Or not aluminum... <laughs> I don't want aluminum. Um, I'll take some bismuth bronze, some black bronze, some bronze. <laughs> Just grabbing all the bronze. Um, and then copper, because copper is really cheap. And we could actually make decent swords out of copper. And same thing goes for bronze. Bronze is pretty cheap, and we can make some decent weapons out of those. I mean, they're definitely not going to penetrate steel very well. 
but they will they will kill unarmed targets fairly well. So well, we'll get a few of those bars, and then we can make our own weapons and make whatever the heck we want to out of it. You know, make some statues for our nobles, do whatever. Um, and then I'll also ask for a little bit of gold. We can't really actually no, I probably won't get any gold. Because gold is pretty expensive, and you can't really make weapons out of gold. You can make furniture and whatnot. Um, but anything, anything, you can't really make weapons out of gold. All gold weapons are just gonna suck. Um, especially if you have hammers. <laughs> Never make a gold hammer. Okay, so we'll, we'll ask for that stuff. Um, I would like to start getting... On, uh... Ooh, whoa, did someone make my mechanisms? Yes, they did, oh. Okie dokie. Let's go ahead and place the lever right there. And then we can get that hooked up. Let's look over to the documents. Yeah, uh, see, as you can see, um, I set the tough leather up by one, and now it's 125% price. Um, they should bring a little bit of everything on their own. But I can tell them, you know, by the priority, you can tell them to bring a little bit more, and so forth. So, um, as you can see, the price did rise uh, on the regular leather because I put the priority up. But, but that, that, that's fine, because if, if they're going to bring a lot of it, that, that's fine. Um, I'll just have to make more toys. So, uh, I don't have a second dwarf's workshop here. So, let's go ahead, let's go ahead and make another craft dwarf's, craft dwarf's. Workshop place that bad boy down right there. Ooh, Feely created a masterpiece. Who is Feely? Plague bed? Feely <laughs> Feely Plague Bed. What is he? He's a leather worker, okay. What's he making though? Oops. Pressing all the wrong buttons here. Um Oh he's making beds! He made a masterwork bed or masterpiece bed. Nice. Um, let's go ahead and have him make some wooden shields. If he's if he's already that good, yeah. Okay, so this is this is what they want from us. And obviously, if we give them what they want, especially in their high priority items, like if you look at plants, I'm surprised they asked for those. Although I'm probably not gonna have enough plants to trade to them. While still being able to make my own mead. So I don't really think I'm going to do that. But yeah, if you get them the items that they want, obviously you're going to get a better deal. But we're just going to give them toys anyways. Ooh, figurines. We might trade a few of those. We're definitely going to be trading goods like figurines. So we might get a few of those. That'll be nice. Alrighty, well, that that's that. Yep, I look forward to our next meeting next year. Our fortunes may... Rise and fall together. Alrighty. Our drinks are slowly going up. I'm a little bit worried. Ah, Keely just withdrew from society. That's not good. Anybody withdrawing at this point, it's it's going to be a pretty bad situation. I don't want to have to kill anyone yet. I only have 21 dwarves, so... One... 21 games! Is this still a dormitory up here? <laughs> what did I say? Was was I going to make that into an artillery place? I think that's what I was trying to do with it. Ah, whatever. Oh, our miners have no jobs. So let's go ahead. I want to go ahead and make him a, a mason. I'll make what is love. He'll be a mason? So that way he'll help out with making the toys. So let's go ahead and assign it. So we're going to make um, rock crafts, I think it is. Rock crafts. Actually, right quick, let's go ahead and cancel that. Let's go ahead and make some nest boxes first. And then we'll make the crafts. And we will set the crafts on repeat. Our, um, rock crafts and rock, rock, um, rock items is going to be what we're going to be, um, trading mostly. So rock mugs and rock crafts are usually what I craft to trade with people. And I mean, though, those are worth a decent amount. 
Once you get a, a, a huge number of them, you can make mad bank off of it. So in, in small amounts, it's really not worth a lot. But once you get a lot of them, you make mad bank off of it. And they did say that they wanted figurines, so we should... We should get a few of those from that. Let's go ahead and set up our second distillery. I think we're, we're going to run out of plants to make in a brew here in a second anyways. So, um, is he, what is he? Whoa, why is he starving? She. Does she need items? No, she doesn't. What's her job? Oh, she's a leather worker. What the hell, man? Well, she's gonna die now. Oh, and this guy's pissed off. Okay, so what we need for that guy is we actually... We need a, um... We need a metalsmith's forge. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and place that down. Oops. That's not what I wanted. Okay, there we go. So we'll, we'll go ahead and place the Metalsmith's Forge down, and then somebody should come by and go ahead and fix that up. So that way Keeley doesn't end up killing himself, because I really do not want any more people getting struck with melancholy. Melancholy is not the greatest thing. Especially since, um, once your dwarves go on a strike where they just stop eating, I, I don't think you can actually get them back from that point on. I think they'll just, they, they've pretty much just given up and they'll die. So, you want to try and avoid that at all costs. Um, let's go ahead and assign up the rest of these rooms. We won't have anybody to fill them, so these will just kind of be vacant until we get some more guys here. We get some more dwarves. We should be getting a migrant wave soon, actually. <coughs> Excuse me? So, there we go. There are all of our bedrooms, and I'll start, I'll have our miners, since they, they aren't doing anything right now, I'll have them dig the rest of that out. And I think everything down there is fine. Yeah, everything down there is fine. And then we'll have more rooms! This, these are actually a lot of rooms. How many are there? Let's see, hold on, let me count these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And we have four. Oh shit, I can't do the maths. Um, four. Shit, we have like 50, we have like 54 rooms. Okay, so Keeley claimed the Metalsmith's Ford. Hopefully we have the items that Keeley wants. Or else he's gonna end up killing himself. So, fortify killed himself. God damn. I can't do it. <laughs> we might be <laughs> Let's go ahead and make some more coffins here. I'm getting a little bit worried. <laughs> um okay. Um let's see here. I want to go ahead and make this into a uh Go ahead and make this Shit, I forgot what I was going to say. I want to go ahead and make this bad boy into a, um... Fuck, I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to make this bad boy into the uh, coffin room. Is, is that, that's what I was trying to say. God dang, man. I can't talk. Okay, so send that like that. And then I don't want them to dig out those... I think that I think that's the correct thing right there. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's I think that's the correct. Thing. Okay, so this will be this will be our huge coffin room. And I'm just gonna plop down coffins and rows in there. Oh, Salve finally died of thirst. I don't know if any more people are gonna get struck Sam with melancholy. Oh, migrants! Okay, good. Oh, excellent. Hopefully, someone brought a cat. <laughs> I love cats. Mm, yes, cats love 
their cat meal. Or I mean, did I just say cats love their cat meal? Dwarves love their cat meal. Hopefully no one else here is gonna go fucking insane. I would rather not have that happen. Um, shining bars of metal. Balls. We have bones, which is the other thing that he wants, but we don't want... Oh, shit. Um, let's make some coke. Which is, um, coal. Not, not the other coke. You dirty-minded people! Um, make, make a little bit more coke. Shit. We need minerals! <clears throat> we really need minerals. Um... That's not good. Okay, so Feely might actually flip out. I don't know if anyone brought bars with them, but he might actually flip out. Ooh, what are these? Soap. Okay. Ah, uh, he can't use those. Or yeah, he might actually be able to use the soap bars, but I don't think he wants to. Oh, balls. Okay. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and open up Therapist really quickly. Um, then connect to Dwarf Fortress. I just want to see how many dwarves I got. I'm not going to assign anybody, really. We got 18 dwarves there. So, as you can see, their professions... Ooh, we got a traitor. Okay, let's go ahead. His name is George Destruction Die. I want to go ahead and go to him. Ooh, we also have a Bone Doctor. Who's also a hunter. Um, I am a full-time mechanic. Let's make this guy, um, farming, herbalism, milking, cheese. Yeah, there we go. So, what was that guy? George. George was his name. Oh. Where is he? He's not on here. Um, okay. Let's go to the broker and then add on. He's not on here. I said he was a traitor. Okay, let's let's make this guy pick cuz he's best suited for the job. So why not make him? So you are you're gonna be the broker There you go broker Also, if you would like a name if you would like a dwarf named after you um, Go ahead and write me a comment. There's more information on that in the description if you want to go ahead and and learn a little bit more about it. But pretty much in short, just go ahead and write me out a comment saying you want a dwarf and tell me what profession. I'm not, um, you know, promising any professions, but if, if you do want a dwarf, go ahead and make a comment for me. So there, there's our broker. I don't really want this guy doing too much here. So I'll probably just remove all that. Yeah, keep that stuff on. Good thing I made, or I dug out those extra bedrooms. Or, good thing I made these extra bedrooms is what I meant to say. Since we got that migraine wave, we're gonna actually need these. Another thing about bedrooms is they actually increase your, um, your fort value by quite a lot. Especially if you smooth them down and everything. Um, let's go ahead and make some more shields. I might... Assemble a um, a training or a uh, military squad quite soon. What's going on, Coral Snake? Where's this at? Oh, are they getting hunted? Oh, they're getting hunted. What is what is he using? So excavate over here is hunting. Ooh, he's got a bronze crossbow. Nice. That's going to be useful if we get invaded. Oh! Someone died. Oh, two leather-winged bats have been, just been found dead. I, I, that's what I find with the bats is, uh... They like to get killed. They die really quickly. Okay, don't not slaughter that leather-winged pup. Don't do it. We need them. We need them, we need them, we need them. We really need them. <coughs> Excuse me. 
So do we have... Let's see. Okay, well, people are gonna be doing hunting, so we're gonna be getting a lot of hitting noises. I might actually just mute that noise, so that way I don't have to hear it. So now we got a broker. Um, there there are a few more things that I do want here. I do want a psychiatrist. Ooh, our broker is also a psychiatrist, apparently. Um, and if we could get someone with, like, a useless job, Bull. Here, he's a peasant. Bull. What a great name, Bull. So that's, a, that's a fantastic name. I like it. Bull. <laughs> that's great. Alright, so he's got animal training. He, he really doesn't have much to do. So I'll just I'll just leave it at that. Um, and then we also want a manager. And no one, of course, of course no one at all is good at this job. Well, well, we'll put Cruel up to the job. See, you have any other jobs? Nope. Oh boy, someone's decaying over here. Are all of our coffins filled? Tell me they're all filled. No, oh, there's still one open, man. Okay. Well, we'll go ahead and put those two up there. Why, do I, why are they not hauling them away? They should just haul them away. Instead of dealing with the miasma. Okay, well, that's that, I guess. Um... Did I bring dimple cup, seed dimple cup seeds? I can't remember if I brought dimple cup seeds. Oh, I bought cave wheat, though. Forest mushroom. Woodstock rat weed. Can we grow rat weed underground? Nah, it's an above ground thing only. Let's go ahead and let's 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 get some cave weed because we can plant that year round. And then let's let's go ahead and assign some more plump helmets. Oh shit. Oh no, okay. I thought I messed those up. But I didn't. Oh Jesus. Yup, another leatherwing pup dead. Damn! That's we only have one left now. What the hell's gonna eat all of our rodents then? I don't know if there's other shit, other animals. I don't even know if we have any other animals that will eat rodents. Ooh, what are these? Ooh, these are nest boxes. Alright, let's go ahead. I do want to assign my nest boxes real quick. So the whole idea, um, a nest box... The whole idea with a nest box is that, um... Uh, you probably know. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I have to explain it. I really don't think I have to explain it. Oh, they have to- Oh, it's a barrel receptacle. What the fuck? Okay. I didn't want- I wanted to build a nest box. I was like, what's going on here? Um, so we can use nest boxes- I'll, I'll explain a little bit here. We can use nest boxes to... Um, to lay eggs in. So, like, animals that need to lay eggs, they need nest boxes to be able to lay those eggs. Um, and we can also put things like silkworms in the nest boxes and get silk out of that. Um, we could put various, what, I think it's like, um, bees. Yeah, bees and get honey. But for bees and honey, we actually need jugs. Just, was that our last? Fuck! Well, there's a bear! Oh, shit! And there's a forest imp, too. Um, damn! Whoa! Forest imp. Um, there's a lot of forest imps up there. Holy shit. I really hope they don't kill somebody. Um. Oop. I didn't want to cancel that, but okay. What is this? What is this shit? Marble. Okay, there we go. Is there any other op openings that I've... I don't- I, I can't remember. I think it was just those two. I hope it's just those two. Um, but 
But it looks like, it looks like Excavate over here is attacking this grizzly bear. And he totally fucked him up. Just look at this. His head is torn open. His head is dented. His head is bruised. All at the same time. <laughs> Dang, that sucks. He is enormous, yet skinny. His hair is brown. His skin is pale chestnut. His eyes are brown. So it's a br brown grizzly bear who's pissed off and in pain. But don't worry, Excavate here to save the day. Excavate should kill that thing. If Excavate kills that thing, which he probably will, that's actually awesome because that bear is a shit ton of meat. It's an absolute shit ton of meat. So, um, we do actually have to wait for this. Ooh, frill lizards? I didn't even know frill lizards laid eggs. That's probably why we haven't gotten any more. Yep, that's probably why we haven't got any more. Uh, okay. So we have to wait for things to claim these nest boxes. Oh, wait, maybe? Oh, shit. I meant to make hives. I didn't mean to make nest boxes. Well, goddamn. I wanted to make hives. I was talking about hives. Not nest boxes. Oh, well, balls. That sucks. Okay, I guess I was talking about the wrong thing. Um, let's go ahead and assign this last plot here to be green lichens. Okay, there we go. And then, let's go ahead and put up some more plots. Damn, I made the wrong thing. I wanted to make hives. It's okay. It's fine. We don't need it. You have to make, um, you have to have jug production to even really, you know, have it be proficient. And you have to have a, a shit ton of them. But it's pretty much just free food. You need, like, one beekeeper for, like, 50 hives. And then he just runs around with the jugs and, you know, fills them up. So it's real it's pretty much just free food, really. I'm surprised they haven't moved that goddamn guy's body. Wonder when they're gonna do that. Okay, go ahead and assign the rest of those boxes. Oh hey! Oh yeah! He's carrying the grizzly bear corpse! Who is that spire? Oh, so Excavate actually didn't get the kill. Holy shit, there's another grizzly bear. So please tell me someone's gonna hunt that thing down. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Shit, I lost it. I lost it. Oh, there it is. Maybe I should follow it. Let's just follow it around and see where it goes. Oh! Oh, now he's getting hunted. Yep. There we go. We got another grizzly bear. That's actually good. We might get... Do we get fur? I think we get fur out of that, not leather. But regardless, you know, that's awesome. That really is awesome. Okay. Let's go ahead and make this bottom row now into bedrooms. Okay, there we go. Now, everybody should have a bedroom now. Yeah, we're, we're probably not going to get any bars for Keely. Which really sucks, because that means he's probably going to die. Alrighty. Oh. Oh yeah, also, I need to make some more chairs and tables. So let's have our mason actually make a bunch of chairs and tables. And 
have our boyer here make some bone crossbows, and then have our leather worker. Who? Do, how much leather do we have? Who? We actually have a decent amount of leather. Is this? Oh, it's chitin. Chitin, tough leather, and scales. Okay, I'm fine with that. Um, I'll go ahead and add some more stone stone. Uh, we actually don't need that. Um, uh, I'll do it anyways. Okay. And then let's go ahead and make a few leather items here. Um, what I want to make is leather helms. Protect that noggin. We could also make some water skins, too. And then, um... Shit, I need to make another one, don't I? <laughs> so, this is the thing about Craft Dwarf's workshops. Usually, um, you have the jobs on repeat. Um, for the Craft Dwarf's workshops. So, it's always good to have one open. Just one laying around open, so that way if you need it, you can craft stuff. You won't have to make another one and wait for that one to be finished and, and, and such like that. But, um, the thing with Craft Dwarf's Workshops is a lot of the things that you do with them, or at least the way I play, is you, um, you need it on repeat, or at least I have it on repeat. So it always sits there, and then if you want to cancel it, you got to reassign it and everything, and it, gets, it just gets annoying. So we have rough rock crystals. I want somebody to go ahead and smooth those bad boys down. We can, if we're really needy for trading points. Sorry, I can't do it, Oh, yup, Keely's gone raving mad. What's what's he going on about? I don't know what he's going on about. Um, looks like Keeley went insane though, which I'm a little bummed about. Um, up here, I think I might actually, I think I might actually make bedrooms, or I mean offices, not bedrooms. Fuck the bedrooms. Um, make offices. So there we go. That'll be three wide, and then we'll have offices coming off of here, and these. Unlike the bedrooms, will be four by four. Oops, that's one off. Four by four. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Oh wait, that's five by four. <laughs> Jesus, I can't count today. That's five by four right there. Apologies. So there'll be five by four. And then we'll make... Uh, maybe a bedroom. That'll be someone's bedroom right there. Odd place for a bedroom, I know, but... Yeah, so there we go. There, Those will be our offices. And those will probably, first of all, go to the manager, and then the psychiatrist, and then whoever else needs one. Um, I also, I do want a bookkeeper here. Uh, I'll wait. I'll wait to assign it. We are gonna want a bookkeeper, though. Once I have these offices done, I'll probably assign a bookkeeper. So that way we could get detailed intel on, you know, how much supply we have. And, um, the thing is, with our bookkeeper, he's gonna be in there 24-7. I don't know if I've already set it up to where... Yes, okay, settings. Lowest precision, you see how it's on lowest? We won't get accurate numbers. Now, when we're on highest precision, we'll get all counts accurate. So, he'll be sitting in there 24 hours a day. We'll know exactly what we have and how much of it we have. So, the bookkeeper will just be running around counting things, writing it down. Um, nothing else. He won't be, he won't even be hauling anything. He'll just be running around, um, you know, record keeping. So, that usually works the best there. Ooh, we have a stray woolly mountain goat. Um, I think those guys need to be in pastures. So let's go ahead and put that guy in the pasture before he dies. Ooh, did I just see baby Drake? Do we have a baby Drake? Oh, we do. 
right here. Malice Doom Trash. Baby Drake. He's the pet of Cave Shovel Myth, our gem setter. Okay, well, there's Grizzle. Working hard. His marble. <laughs> they carry the marbles on their heads. Oh, no, it says hauled. Okay. I thought that said head. Okay, so Grizzle's actually the one working on our toys. I trust Grizzle to make some nice toys. Um, so, so from the Crafts Dwarfs Workshop here, we could actually make bone, um, weapons and armor. Which is what I want to do. Um, we can actually make weapons. Not, not weapons. We can make, um, what's it called? Ammo! That's what I meant to say. We might be able to make weapons, we might be able to make weapons at a forge. I'm not sure, though. I'm really not sure of that, but we, we might, I don't, I don't remember. We might be able to. Um, so what I want to do is go ahead and make some bone armor. Bone helms, bone boots. So I'm pretty much just preparing to make a military squad, which I'm going to actually do pretty, uh, quite soon here. Because it's good to have it set up early on in the game, so that way you don't get screwed over. Um, Let's go ahead and milk creature. Let's set that on repeat. I'm pretty sure we can milk those tusk ox, if I remember correctly. So we'll we'll go ahead and do that. How many? Summer blaze is on okay. your face. Oh, now Please summer. Keep your caves for cooler space. Summer, lovely summer. Woo! What other seeds do we have? Club helmets. Lots of it. Alrighty. I know what I'm planting. Okay, so our farm is getting quite big, and it looks like we're actually growing things, so that's good. Feely has created a masterpiece. What is Feely? Where the fuck is that guy? I thought he was our carpenter. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, let's go ahead and make this a bed right now, or a, uh, a room, a bedroom, and then I'll go ahead and put doors on our offices. I don't know if we have doors, no, we, we don't have chairs and tables yet. We will eventually, though. I'm looking for, um, Feely here. Where is that guy at? Where is that guy at? Oh, right here. I want to zoom to him on the map. See? Okay. Oh! He's only a talented carpenter? And he's making masterpieces? This guy sounds like a badass! Okay then. I thought he would be much higher if he was making masterpieces, but I guess not. Um, okay, so that lever's placed down. Let's go ahead and link up the wooden bridge in front there. So, what I want to go ahead and do right now is I want to go ahead and make walls. Connecting my whole, um... <clears throat> little, a little area here. So let's go ahead. And, I'll make it from right here. We're, we're gonna need to cover this up. Cover that little stream up. That little stagnant pool up right there. Okay, let's go ahead and put in walls. Uh, we should actually make those out of marble. Go ahead and make those bad boys out of marble. Get marble. And then over here, make 20 out of marble. And our mason should get right on this. 
and then we're gonna add two like that. This is gonna be pretty huge. Um, we're actually gonna make some outside farms within this area. So, one of the reasons why I'm making it so large. And I'm just gonna make like this ripple type of thing all the way down here. <laughs> and that's my design. Then it'll connect to the bridge here. Which actually I'm gonna go ahead and indent a little bit. And make a little, uh... A little gate. Okay, that, 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 that does look a little bit off. Actually, maybe I shouldn't do that as a design. That does look off. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna actually do that as a design. Okay, scratch that. Scratch that, scratch that, scratch that, scratch that, scratch that, scratch. No, 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 no. That just, no, that doesn't look great to me. I'm not gonna do that design. Uh-uh, uh-uh. We'll, we'll come up with a design in the next episode here. I'm gonna go ahead and end this one off. We've been recording for 52 minutes. If you want to see some more Dwarf Fortress, go ahead and check out the annotation in the top right of this video. Or you can go to my channel and go to my playlist section and go ahead and check out my Dwarf Fortress Masterwork um, Let's Play from there. If you want to see some more Dwarf Fortress. Also, if you'd like to see some more Dwarf Fortress, go ahead and leave me a like. Go ahead and leave me a comment. And please, please, please subscribe. It really helps out. And it really, really, really does mean a lot. And I mean that sincerely. So once again, thanks for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. This is Matt for that Studio signing out. Bye-bye!